Andrew, you commented three of ten on last night's video. Um, I was confused at first, then I realized that it's probably a ranking, like three out of ten stars. I wanted to let you know that I don't think it's a great video either, but it was important that I post something. Now, I was at a teacher's training the other day, Friday afternoon, and we spoke about school standards. Um, with an article on, on uh, next generation science standards as our prompt. We connected our discussion to questions about uh, our art and uh, standards around art education. I want to read uh, a little bit from that article uh, about next generation science standards. Um, the article is titled Beyond Asking Questions, Problematizing as a Disciplinary Activity. Um, the importance and difficulty of problematizing are apparent in scientists' writing. One prominent example is Einstein's famous skepticism of quantum mechanics. In 1926, he wrote to a colleague that God, quote, is not playing at dice and throughout the mid-1920s wrote of his discomfort with the lack of, quote, tangible forms in quantum mechanics and the apparent, quote, abandonment of strict causality. It was not until much later that Einstein, working with Podolsky and Rosen, was able to articulate a problem now known as the EPR paradox, Einstein, Podolsky, Rosen paradox. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that second name correctly. In their article, they detailed conceptual and mathematical arguments that, quote, the wave function does not provide a complete description of physical reality, unquote. In their conclusion, the authors, quote, left open the possibility, left open the question of whether or not such a description exists, unquote, while asserting a belief that, quote, such a theory is possible, unquote. Articulating the EPR paradox and motivating the community of physicists to see a problem took extensive time and effort. We present other examples from, from physics in Phillips et al. 2017. This part I've put a little mark next to. Elements of problematizing in science have also been highlighted in studies of scientists' work and thinking. Wertheimer argued that Quote, productive thinking, unquote, requires identifying, quote, gaps, trouble regions, disturbances, and superficialities in one's knowledge, and identifying the, quote, fitting or not fitting, unquote, of one's knowledge within a broader structure. Similarly, Henley argued that identifying the, quote, shape of the gap, unquote, is a main goal of scientists. Let me read that one more time. Elements of problematizing in science have also been highlighted in studies of sci elements of problematizing in science have also been highlighted in studies of scientists' work and thinking. Wertheimer argued that quote productive thinking unquote requires identifying gaps, trouble regions, disturbances, and superficialities in one's knowledge and identifying the fitting or not fitting of one's knowledge within a broader structure. So, the authors refer to this question, or this, um, process of identifying gaps in knowledge as problematizing. And then they go on to say that problematizing should be considered an important element of scientific inquiry and therefore should be re reflected in next generation science standards. Those are uh, educational standards for the teaching of science in the United States, NGSS. They say that the next generation science standards uh, do not mention 
several things that are incredibly important. Uh, so I am going to just read three critiques they have of the next generation science standards. You know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say that we then tried to talk a little bit about this concept of problematizing in relationship to art education. And we were given a question that said, how do you identify, articulate, and motivate a gap or inconsistency in understanding your teaching and in your art making? Well, my example was that I am um, making artworks in lieu of an idea and hoping that by making something, anything, any day, every day, I'll come to an idea. So that felt to me like the identification, articulation, and motivation of a gap or inconsistency. It's also why it was important for me to post something last night, even if it wasn't any good.